welcome to the third video in our gene therapy series. Last week we talked about the viruses researchers are using to deliver a functional copy of the dystrophin gene to the muscles. This week we're going to talk more about the DNA the virus is actually delivering. Last week I showed you the football that we can use to represent the viral capsid that contains the DNA. And this is a good representation because it really illustrates that there's a fixed amount of space inside. It might be a little bit flexible, but there's still a limited amount of space. The size of a DNA molecule can be measured in something called base pairs, and the dystrophin gene is about 2.5 million base pairs, so it's really big. In fact, the dystrophin gene is the biggest gene in the human genome. The viruses, on the other hand, are quite small, and so they can only carry around 4,500 base pairs of DNA. That means it's impossible to fit the whole dystrophin gene into one of these viruses. To overcome that problem, researchers have gone through the dystrophin gene and chosen the pieces that are most important for functionality. So they've chosen the bits that are really, really required for the dystrophin protein to work properly. What you end up with is something called a mini or a micro dystrophin gene. They're a lot smaller than the full-size dystrophin gene, and in fact they're small enough that you can fit them into a virus. Next week we'll be talking about the challenges of using these viruses in a clinical setting. I hope to see you then.